These are dark days for Swindon. They've got a mountain to climb, and so has Ricky Hunt, their chairman, who resigned to do just that. Manager Jimmy Quinn publicly slated keeper Jimmy Glass recently, but his replacement, Frank Talia, didn't deal too well with Chris Beecher's 25-yarder. And Talia was beaten again before half-time. This time by Ben Thornley. Swindon have only managed three away goals all season, so their chances of rescuing anything from this game are remote. And they fell further behind when Dean Gore stabbed in his first league goal for Huddersfield, just before the hour mark, after good work from Clyde Weinhard. Weinhard had managed eight goals in his last eight home games since joining from Leeds, but he turned provider again for Gore's second. Huddersfield haven't lost at home since April, while Swindon have now gone four away games without even scoring. Huddersfield four, Swindon nil. A bright sunny day at Huddersfield and the brilliance of the sun may even have been a factor in town's first goal against Swindon. The excellent Dutchman Dean Gore was shining brightly too. His crossfield dash was the prelude to a crisp beat shot which seemed to catch Swindon keeper Frank Talia unawares. His reaction was to blame the winter sun. If so, he should have brought his flat cap. Well, that was Beach's second goal of another excellent week for town. They've won their last four now. They've scored more home goals than any other club in the country, 27. And ben Thornley dispatched that one with great aplomb, though Talia's contribution was again less than impressive. Town's confidence reflected in the fact that centre-half John Dyson has become a regular goal scorer. After more good work by Thornley, he was close to heading his third of the week. Town's third can be traced back to the boot of keeper Nico Vassen, whose long punt was flicked on by Marcus Stewart. Clyde Weinhardt then took control, pulling Swindon's central defenders out of the middle, and into the hole strode Gore for a double Dutch strike. At £350,000, the former Ajax player is looking a snip. Swindon, bottom of the table and looking like it, had no answer to the fluency of Town's football. Gorry and Kenny Irons figuring in a move Weinhardt just failed to finish. Six minutes after striking his first league goal for the club, Gorry got his second. Simon Baldry and Weinhardt set him up for the lob, which rounded off another thoroughly satisfactory day for Steve Bruce and co. Gorry himself says there's much more to come. I still have to get used to it. And, um... I think every player who's played come from Ajax is going to play here, even when you're the Boer or lead man. You're going, to have, you're going to struggle in the beginning, really, because it's difficult. And there was a bigger win to come against struggling Swindon. The ever-reliable Chris Beach got the ball rolling with another impressive strike. The second came from Ben Thornley. It proved to be his only goal during an in-and-out season. After the break, Dean Gorry took up the mantle first, latching onto a pass from fellow Dutchman Clyde Weinhardt. And then came a perfect finish that had class written all over it.